Let's take it. Thank you. Unit 27, early muzzleloader in Arizona. Uh, opening morning here, it's September 27th. It was raining pretty good this morning. Ceiling's down. We can see about halfway up the mountain. There's some bulls bugling. Uh, my guy Charlie here, he's uh, knew of a really good bull that's been in the area, so we're kind of trying to get things right and see if we can get an eye on him. full-time gets used to not carrying a gun it's uh, a little different when the guns in your hands pretty exciting to be out here and actually have a, a tag in your pocket you know it's fairly open we might be able to sneak right up on him and then still catch these because these are coming
Nice young bull there. Left out of seven. Yeah, he's a real nice young bull, probably 340, 330 right in there. Could have had him, but it sounds like the herd bull's right down here. We're gonna go see if we can get an eye on him. Just keep moving up this ridge. We can still hear two or three bulls that we haven't got a look at. There's another good group of cows over here and we can't see a bull with them, so we're gonna try and reposition, get a better angle. Had a nice bull and like 10 cows across the canyon. Looked to be high 360s, 370. He was pretty weak on the left side. So uh, there's a couple more bulls that we had bedded in here this morning. We're going to try and get a look at them. So. Well, another good morning. We've seen uh, two. 340 to 350 kind of bulls. Didn't see the big bull. We seen his herd of cows. Just really tough right now. We're, we're hunting this burn. It's three years old. There's just a ton of feed. They've had record amounts of rain. Lots of feed right here in the in the burnt timber and these elk aren't having to leave it. So for us to get a window that we can see off of the ridge we're on and see the, the opposite ridge and, and see the elk, it's just been really uh, difficult. So that's some of the obstacles we're up against. It's hot now, and uh, we got a good game plan for this afternoon. We got a point we can see into two or three really good burnt ridges, and we're above it, so I think that'll give us a good view into it. So we're excited. We know there's a good bull in here, and if he just gives us half a chance, I think we can get him shot. About 850 yards from where we last seen them this morning, so pretty thick down here in the bottom. The trees aren't burnt, so it's just kind of sit here and wait and see if they pop out. But there's a good bench on both sides, so no matter which way they go out, we can we can cut a few hundred yards off pretty easy. It looks like so. Winds in our favor. Looks like everything's on our side. What's the range, Mike? 450, dial the 410. Drop it. Drop it. Hey, 
You dropped him, buddy. Nice shot, huh? 410 yards. He was right under us all morning, man. This is an awesome gun. 410 yards, I believe we dials for. Just dropped him in his tracks. Might have hit him a little high in the shoulder, but uh, man, it, it knocked him down good. So I think we'll give him a minute and watch him, make sure he doesn't get up, and then we'll ease down there and see what we got. Huh? What a nice bull, huh? The split seconds are awesome. Crazy that he was right underneath us all, all morning. morning. We're looking at bulls further away. Two miles from here, and he was just right there. Everything we thought he was, huh? Good job, man. Yeah, thank you. Get this muzzleloader put away. Let's check him out. Man, look, look at the mass. Oh, yeah. Cool. Big old Arizona giant right here, boys. Look at the mass on those G1. Huh? We're down here. Eastern Arizona, man. Drew a, drew a great tag. Got some friends of mine, Moss back in Arizona. They they knew the country. I knew I wasn't gonna have much time in between my all my elk hunts I had going, so I hired some local experts. And what a great hunt, man! Fifth day, we found him yesterday. Didn't get him killed last night. Got in here this morning. We were convinced he might have moved canyons on us because the satellite bull was a ridge over. We're sitting up in these rock bluffs and Charlie looks down and sees a couple of cows. Thought I heard a faint bugle off in this canyon, so we waited. We cows kept other feeding bulls. over, kept feeding over a little at a time. Pretty soon we seen his, his tips of his horns coming over. He was smelling a hot cow. It was 450 yards, corrected to four, 410. Mike was giving me the ranges, 25 degree angle. Man, one shot. I think I hit him a little in front of the shoulder, but it dropped him. What a beauty. Big, big, heavy. Look at this. Can't even put your hand around his, his eye guard. Split seconds, true seven by seven with a little kicker off the third. Man, I'm guessing this is a, you know, a 10 year old bull, fully mature. It's what we came here for, boys. This is awesome. Couldn't have done it without the Gunworks muzzleloader. Mike calling me ranges. Man, what a feat shoot one with a muzzleloader at 450 yards. Man, Charlie's been great this week. He knew every hole we needed to check. We've seen at least a half a dozen bulls over 350. We just kept passing them, looking for a, a really big old mature bull, man. That's what we found. That's what meant the most. Score set aside. You know, this bull's gonna score big because he's really heavy. But uh, who cares, man, it's just a giant. Where do you find a bull like this? He's not broken anywhere. You know, uh, this just amazes me. You can't <laughs> even put your hands around his first point. That's just, that's unbelievable. The mass measurements are just gonna be crazy. Yeah, they are. Man, this, these are crazy. We were having a really hard time finding, you know, we were finding elk, but we were seeing them. They were in that thick burr. We finally, you know, Charlie, he likes hunting where you can glass, so do I, it's what I'm used to. We finally came down here, kind of off the rim in some lower country where we could see and, and just giant bull, had six cows with him. Heck, he's got a 370 satellite bull over there you'll probably see some footage of. But, uh, man, can't say enough good about it. Good what job. an awesome elk. Charlie, Correct. thank you. Yeah. Mike. Aaron, everybody at Gunworks, man, what a what an awesome gun. The rangefinder corrected it perfect. Here he is. We're gonna try and see if we can get him up the hill and get some pictures. Maybe get a buddy or two to come in here and help us pack <laughs> him out because it's gonna be a long pack straight up that hill and the locust brush in this uh, fire is unbelievable. Our arms are all shredded, clothes are shredded, so. But it's done. Two days to spare, so.